Hey everyone, welcome back to Playcrastination Population 295. Today we're back playing some more Banjo-Kazooie and I'm a barren bird on a mission because we have a couple things we need to do and oh my god, please, with the headphones! And I outlined them at the last of, uh, what the, 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 the end of the last episode. So first of all, let's smash this rock. Second of all, uh, how do I do this? Yeah, we're gonna smash this rock. It's gonna lead some stairs for us. Thank you so much. And then we're gonna go transform instantly, as we just changed away from it. We're gonna instantly change back into uh, the Wumba transformation, which in this level is a detonator. Um, I should mention, I don't usually say this because I don't like begging, if you if you will, or asking even, requesting. I don't know. I f I, I I usually align myself in the camp that if people enjoy your content, they'll do it themselves, but some people need a little, little pushing, like this. And so I'll just give the pushing to you if you guys have enjoyed, what is this, episode 8? If you guys are enjoying the series thus far and you do want to keep, continue seeing more of it, um, support is greatly appreciated in the form of, this thing can float? No, it cannot, but it can swim somehow, we don't talk about it. Um... If you guys are enjoying the series, you guys like what I do, then please consider uh, uh, showing some support down below in the form of liking, commenting, always is amazing, and sharing with, your, sharing with your friends if you think they'd like it too. Let's take a trip down the rabbit hole, and let's see if there's anything to blow up in here. I think there is. Could be wrong, though. <laughs> Could be, probably am wrong, but let's take a look. Anyway, ordnance storage. I see danger. I see some danger boxes. I see a new move. Oh, no. Well... Okay, we can't learn the new move until we're not these two. I don't know why the boxes say danger. Hopefully nothing. And this says danger explosives, which means I probably needed to get in there. And I just can't because I'm not Banjo and Kazooie. I'm gonna go transform back. Wamba, I'm sorry for using up all your magic. I just don't know what I want to be. I'm so confused. All right, now let's take a trip with Banjo-Kazooie down the rabbit hole. Hey, how's it going? Oh, God, they made eye contact. That was awkward. Um, <laughs> let's learn our new move. Uh, what? No, please, though. I wasn't expecting this. What happens if I shoot these? Apparently nothing. Uh, I was not expecting this, but let's talk to this guy, because I'm sure he's going to give us a new move. We need 95, sure. How's it going, man? Oh, another use for the Feathered Freak. Make good use of her pointy beak. Bad guys know that it's no joke. Just press B to give him a poke. That'll be all. Dismissed. Get it on. MXC. All right, well, apparently we're going to do stuff with Banjo and Kazooie first-person shooter style now. Yeah, you've learned a beak attack, huh? Sure have, partner. Well, maybe you can help me out here. A real nasty bunch of TNT sticks have escaped from their box and are threatening to blow up my mine. Don't worry, we'll go in there and blast them. No, shoot one and the whole mine will explode. You'll have to try and defuse them somehow. Anything else? Yep, you'll have to be quick, because when you defuse the first one, the others will probably start their detonation timers. Great. Fun. My favorite. I wonder what the defusal method could be, huh? Because it could it be related to the move that we just learned. Oh god. Okay, so as soon as we defuse one with this method. Alright, 200 seconds to get the rest. Good luck to me. Uh, do I see it going well? No! Diffuse all of them. Okay, 13 left. Any more in here? Any more in here? No, but there's an undercarriage, an underpathway. Really, the best way to handle this is not the way I'm doing it right now, is not to just frantically go room to room, it's to have a plan of action and say, I'm gonna hug the left wall, which is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna hug the left wall, and that way, you shouldn't have any repeats. But then when I see one like this, I get 10th, so I'm gonna go out and get it. Get this guy too. Ah, oh, please, don't shoot him. I'm just gonna walk past this guy. All right, this is the way we came from. Remember, we still can shoot. We just cannot shoot the the TNT stick. So if there's no TNT stick in the room and it's just a green dude, no problem shooting him. We can shoot him just fine. Okay, continue to hug the left. We're doing well. Nine, eight, eight left. What is this garbage? There's a freaking wall. Can I jump? I cannot jump. Greatest first person shooter I've ever played. Okay. 138 seconds, we're about halfway done and we found about, or we're almost halfway done and we found about half. I went the wrong way. The music is starting to get faster and it's freaking me out, but there's one. There's one. Down to seven. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep finding them. Keep finding them. There's one. 
Cool, cool. Down to six. We're making good pace. We're making good pace. This I remember this level. Literally, this level is pretty much just like you get down to like one and you're like, where the freak is it? And you can never find it. Although I have found two of them hiding together. Freaking trying to play footsies down here. I got you. Trying to play dynamite footsies. What would that even be? Fusies. Yep, that's it. Three left. Let's go down here. Seems like a pretty good place for one. I found you. 99 seconds. We're halfway done with our time and we have two left. That is a good spot to be in. We should be able to explore this entire map in that time and be able to find them. There, there's, we, we, we're in a pretty good spot is what I'm trying to say. Let's try upper floor. I feel like I haven't explored much of the upper floor. So let's get to the upper floor and see what's going on up here. What's in this room? Oh, you think you could hide from me up here? I bet you thought you could. You couldn't. One left. Okay. 75 seconds to find one more. 75 seconds to find one more. Should I save state? Probably, but I believe in the skills. I believe in the skills to pay the bills. This was the double room. We've already been in this room. Nothing in here. Keep it going. Anything up here? Nope. I just see these. We'll try this way though. What's up here? Ha ha! Greatest of all time. 58 seconds left. Much obliged to you partners. How obliged? Are we talking a reward here? Well, I got this funny shaped nugget. I reckon you can have that. I mean, no complaints. I'll take it. You're going to put it outside your house, right? No, you're going to put it there. Don't know how you did that. Magician. Dark magician. Dark magic attack. However, we can be happy with that. And now the place isn't going to blow up. So now we do the hardest part, which is how do I escape from my prison? How do I escape from my prison? Is the question that everybody's asking, including myself. Do I know the answer to it? Nope. But I'm sure if we stay on this main level, which I think is where we came from. No, don't touch me there. No, don't touch me there. Gotcha. If we stay on this main level, I'm sure we'll find it. Blasted, blasted, absolutely destroyed. Maybe it's on the lower level. I, I couldn't, couldn't really tell you. Don't remember myself. Uh, over here seems like a pretty good exit. Yeah, this seems exity. Yeah, I've definitely never been here. So maybe you don't want to watch this. This is going to be the world's greatest struggle. I can already tell you me trying to find my way out of here. I'm trying to do a mental wrap around in my brain. This seems promising. Yeah, all right. We're right back where we started. So I'm just going to like find the exit and I'll join you when I do. Oh my God, I fell. He's done it. Greatest of all time. Okay, we found the exit. It luckily didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. Okay, ordinance storage entrance. Why are we walking out like there? Oh, I forgot you could strafe move. Greatest of all time. Please, though. Oh, God. Also forgot you could change your angle like that. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm getting sick. Let's pick this up. And let's leave this place. And now, we should be good to not need Banjo and Kazooie anymore. Um, at least to access the dynamite. Although, while we have Banjo and Kazooie... Let's go ahead and get over there and free the canary from her from her cage. Um, because she's freaking choking in there, and I feel bad. Well, not, not, I don't feel terrible, but I feel kind of bad. I wouldn't want to be stuck in poison. These people drive up so slow, like they're going to shoot me. Don't look at me. They literally, like, drive by my window at about, like, two miles an hour, just, like, staring at me the entire time. It's like they know I'm producing the world's greatest content. Help me out of this cage. I'm going to try to you. Boosh, you've been freed. Woohoo, I'm free. It's moments like this to make adventuring worthwhile. <laughs> but she hasn't even got a jiggy. Kazooie always thinking about herself. All right, she can still fly, which is pretty good. Dude, that, dr oh my God, don't give me the upskirt. We ain't looking for that here. Oh my God, those are some canary undies. No, thank you. Glitter Gold Schmine, where are you going? Where are you going, Miss Canary? Oh, I remember where you're going. You're going to be the world's most annoying human being. But you're not a human being, you're part bird. Though you're a weird looking bird, I gotta say. You're like Apollo. It looks a little bit like Apollo. Think of the god Apollo. Oh, bye, John. Bye, John's leaving his truck. He's got such a lovely blue truck. All right, so she's gonna chill here on this perch here next to this broken rail cart. And maybe she fixes it up for us? I can't remember. What is this? What am I looking at here? I don't know what in the world that was. Yeah, I don't know what I was just looking at. Okay, uh, there was also boxes we could destroy, so we should check just in case they contain some goods for us. I don't know that they do. He's got feathers. I mean, feathers are good. They're not necessarily goods. Uh, let's like not die. Yeah, let's like not die. Let's let's redo this and I'll open the other boxes because you never know what could be contained within. 
We found a freaking empty honeycomb piece in one of them. Could we find another one? I didn't read, so it's completely possible. Could there be nothing in them? Probably more likely. But I'm going to try anyway. How many SUV? Oh, that's why they're going slow, because the kids are outside playing, and they're like, oops, probably shouldn't run over these children. Maybe the children shouldn't be freaking. Well, I'm just kidding. Kids should be kids, and I'm actually glad they're... It's weird. I'm, a, I'm just a whiner, please, though. I'm just a whiny person in general. I whine about kids spending too much time inside, and then my neighbor's kids spend all their time outside and screaming, and then I complain about that, too. What kind of world am I living in? Uh, I'm going to see... Oh, just kidding. We're going to die. Please get out of here. Please get out of here. We've made it. We've survived. I can't remember if there's anything on top of that cage. If there is, I'll come back for it. But um, let's transform. Transform. Let's transform back into, excuse me, with the right hook. I think that was a left hand. Always leave with your right, man. Have you ever played Punch-Out? Freaking, you're, you're boxing like Glass Joe over there when you want to be the bald bull. Screw the bald bull. Maybe I'll play Punch-Out on the channel sometime. It's one of my favorite games. Especially the Wii version. Like, don't get me wrong, the classic has a special place in my heart, but also not so good. The Wii version with updated graphics, although they are Wii graphics, but as far as Wii graphics go, that's probably one of the better Wii graphics games. Okay, can we do anything with Mr. Dynamite? Uh, well, apparently we can't even get up there, so that's a no. Can we do anything over here? I'm sure there's stuff to be done. Uh, uh, yeah, we definitely cannot get up there, so... Um, hopefully, I'm trying to remember my brain what else we have to do with Dynamite Man. I know there's at least one or two things. One of which is over here, maybe, if this is where it is. Um, there's that Jinjo that's locked in a cage. Hold me down because I want to know you bring calm to my rage. You are life and I'm searching for you. Hold him, locked in a cage, something like that. Um, so we gotta let him out, which is here, which is good. Hello, Jinjo. My old friend. We're going to blow this thing up and say hello to you. And we're going to hope you're friendly. Because I don't feel like coming back here as Banjo, even though this does going to wreck me. Please, though, you don't understand. I have no powers against you. Be friendly. It is friendly. And it's also the only white Jinjo in the game, which means, unfortunately, this poor Jinjo like, lives by himself. But it also means we finished the entire white Jinjo house. But look how sad it is. Oh, just kidding. That's the gray Jinjo house. All the gray Jinjos died. We don't talk about them anymore. They had a joint funeral. It was very sad. What is this sadness that I'm looking at right here? White Jinjo family has, Phew, I'm grateful for your help. I thought I'd never find my way home. Take this jiggy for your trouble. Thank you, kind Jinjo loving sir. 17 jiggies. That's not bad. It's like two jiggies an episode. That's pretty terrible, uh, especially because this is early in the game. Uh, and I think that's all we can do here. I hate that this guy, like, it's cute as heck. I hate that he jumps, though, because I can't, you cannot easily get anywhere. Um, was there anything else to do with this guy in this cave? We might as well search and look, because if there is, uh, there is. Yes, there is, because I'm not going to want to feel like coming back later. So let's go inside this house. Stop that. Let's go inside this house. There should be something to blow up in here. Um, just kidding. This is the power hut. What's down here? This is what we already did, right? This is what we already did. We definitely already did this and we got a jiggy. There was definitely also another way to do it and we were supposed to have light, but I didn't do it right. But we still got it done, so it doesn't really matter. He's got to climb. Nah, he's got no opposable thumbs. Makes sense. There's another one, though. There's like a TNT house somewhere. I think that's over by the crushing shed. And we have to blow that up for sure. That might be the last thing, though, that we have to do with this Mamma Jamma. Let's go to get Vantage Point from up here and look around and say, is there anything you guys want me to do? Anything you guys are wanting in here? Not that I can see. There's a sign up there that I'm sure we could have read. Oh, it's got a switchy pad. That's okay. Uh, we don't have that ability yet, and we've already been here. So let's exit this place and leave here, and then we'll go over to the crushing shed, and we'll check what's going on over there. And I think that should be the last thing that we have to do with this Mamma Jamma. I hope, because I can't really think of anything else that we have to do. So if there's something else and it's not crossing my brain, that's going to suck to have to come back and get him later. That's why, like, it's good to it's good to be knowledgeable about what the heck you have to do. Let's check down here. It's good to be knowledgeable about what the heck you're doing. Uh, something to blow up down here, right? No. It's good to be knowledgeable about what the heck you're doing because 
it saves you time, honestly, from having to go back and, oh, now I gotta get Mumbo again, now I gotta get Wumba again, now I gotta get Baron Bird, now I gotta switch back to this. The gloomy chamber. I can't remember if there was anything in here that we had to blow up. I feel like maybe. It, there's better safe than sorry. We might as well look. Okay, we've already done this like 90 times, so let's stop trying to come back in here and do this. And that music is so scary. And let's check this other pathway and see if there was anything in here. This is just where we were, right? This is the power hut? Yeah, this is just the power hut. So they connect and I missed it. So, oops, we could have taken a shortcut. That's okay, though. Uh, let's go over to the crushing shed and I think do the last thing. But yeah, that's like the longest part in this game, honestly. And like all the backtracking between levels. A lot of this game, honestly, the time spent is freaking travel time. Uh, plus, just like think about how big these levels are. And these are only the first couple. They get bigger. Wait till we get to freaking Dinosaur Land. Dinosaur Land is freaking massive. Um, that's the thing about this game, please, though. That's the thing about this game. I hear Jinjo. Where's he at? Where you at? Heard you. Are you up here? <gasps> he's up here, but he's under a boulder. Okay, well, we'll remember that because we're going to switch back to Baron Bird soon. So right by the Chuffy the Train entrance, there's a man that's trapped. We should also probably just like, well, like, let's let's take this path just to see if there's anything in here. I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure this is just train track for later when we're playing the world's funnest game. I'm jumping. I'm out of here. So long, suckers. Where am I? Is this Wumpa's Wigwam? Where in the world am I? Where's the crushing shed? Where's the dang crushing shed? This is the prospector's house. That does nothing for us. Okay, I'm going back in the wigwam and I'm gonna teleport to the crushing shed. Actually, I think the crushing shed, you know what? I'm still doing it. I'm teleporting. Get me out of here. Save me from this nothing I've become. Let's just teleport over to the crushing shed and get this last thing done. Cause honestly, at this point, it's just taking a long time. Teleport. Oh, just move on to the pen. What'd you think I wanted to do? I think I was curious about what is this cotton candy circle here? No, I wanted to use it, you silly. That's okay. Got it done. Game froze. We're back. We will check mine entry one just to see. I don't think there's anything in here. Fingers crossed. I don't think there's anything in here. Actually, I take that back. There definitely is not something in here. It's water storage. You son of a gun. You're freaking killing your own kind. It's messed up. It's basically carbonate. What's cannibalism? I almost said carbonation. It's a basically carbonation, just like this Dr. Pepper I was drinking earlier. Okay, this should be the last place we have to do the house that says like TNT on it. It's like just ask it to be blown up. Pretty much begging for it. There we go. This guy's gonna be obnoxious. No, you don't understand. I have an objective to do. Blow this up. And what does this do? It creates a new pathway for us which I guess I'll go look at. I don't know if we need TNT guy for this. I doubt it. Usually for TNT guy, you just need to open stuff. Is this more poison in here? Oh, it's freaking swim swim, which I don't know if that does anything for us. Maybe we'll figure it out. Okay, so now that we're done, I think with TNT guy, let's figure everything out that we need to do. First of all, get the heck out of here. Just change from detonator man because he can't even he can attack but he hurts himself so it's like the best you can do is get your hp back and that's if you hit him perfectly the first time complete waste in my opinion take this what have i traveled to where did i just go i traveled to the world entrance we want to go inside wumba's wigwam hook me up hook me up buttercup thank you so much you guys ever watch powerpuff girls is it powerpuff or powder puff couldn't tell you. Jump in here. Transform. Back. Back. Back to Banjo and Kazooie. And then we'll go do all the stuff that I, over the last like five minutes, have realized that we need to do. Okay, so first, we'll go near the train station. We will free this Jinjo. We're going to hope he's friendly. He should be. He's trapped under a rock. If you're not, you're kind of just a piece of human garbage. What time are we at? We got so little time. That's okay. Oh, God. Um, okay, climb the blue fence. Climb the giant blue wall. Climb this. He's whistling. We're going to stomp you, man. We're going to stomp you. Don't you worry. Wind up. Do this. Are you friendly? Friendly. Got him. Two of four. Brown gingos. Thank you so much. Slide down the hill like it's a freaking slide. Keep going. And now, no, please, let's try the world entry and exit. And let's see if we can talk to Canary Mary. 
because if we can, I'm about to break my thumb off. Let's get ready for this. It's gonna be fun. This is my favorite mini game in the whole game. Please tell me you fixed the minecart. Cat, let's talk to her. Hey there, Canary Mary, why are you still around? Ooh, my wings are still a bit stiff from spending so long in that cage. How about a race to help me stretch them? On well, this old handcart, I'm sure it was broken when I saw it last. It was, but I fixed it and put it back on the track. You're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? I like to try. Jump aboard if you fancy a go. Sounds like fun. What do we do? Simply tap A as fast as you can to drive the handcart along. All right. We will do it. But there's like a, there's a secret, because if you just press A as fast as you can, she freaking smokes you. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So like, it's kind of like when you're racing bottles in, it's kind of like when you're racing bottles in, oh god. It's like when you're racing bottles in, um, look at these camera angles. It's kind of like when you're racing bottles in, um, Banjo-Kazooie on the sled, whenever you're in front of him, he speeds up to mock speed. Whenever you're behind, uh, they slow down. So the key is to like stay at like a little bit behind them, even-ish pace for like 90% of the race, and then last second, freaking break your thumb off. Where do where they go? Okay. This is where it gets hard to see where they are. Because if I was ahead of her, she'd be freaking flying, flapping past me like you've never seen. How close are we to the end? I forgot how long this track is, so I'm a little nervous. I forgot how long the track is. I literally don't know where it ends. It could end at any second. Just like wait for the final. Okay, we got one more cave to go through. Okay, get ready, get ready. This is where we freaking, this is where we pass her. I think, if I remember, this is usually the turn you pass her at. Uh, no, we got, it's close. I don't remember, I don't remember. I'm jamming on it. I'm going for it. Pump it, Banjo. Pump it real good. Pump it real good. Oh, she's speeding up. That's it. Whew. That's my exercise for the day. What's up, Canary? She's dancing even in, in defeat. You gotta give her credit for that. That's at least a good sentiment to have in life. Oh, I think we beat you there, Mary. Oh, well, I guess you can have this shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Is it a jiggy? I can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Ew, I'm not sure we want it in that case. It is a jiggy. Okay, we'll take it. Gonna smell a little bit like Axe Body Spray, but I'll take it. That was a fine race. Sure was. My wings are starting to feel better. How about racing back again? Hop on the card if you think you can beat me again. All right, so this time it's going to be a little bit harder. We'll take our jiggy. We'll jump back on the cart. And we'll do the exact same thing backwards. Um, except she's even faster this time. So if you get in front of her, like, get ready to get smacked. Three, two, one, go. Yep, she's even faster. Okay, so you, we got, you got to, like, keep up the pace a little bit better this time. Because she'll still devastate you. This angle. Banjo. Don't, don't even think about it. Why does she have to fly? Why does she have to be above us? Why are we at such a low height of vision? Banjo, you're seeing things you shouldn't see. Don't look at her canary marys. Okay, keep going. Um, we should be fine to do the same strategy again. Again, kind of just like throw the, because like as a kid, I was like, I would sit here and like, <laughs> like you've never seen before and press it so fast and she beat me every time and I'm like, what do you want me to do, game? I literally can't win. I, I, my, my small seven-year-old hands cannot tap A faster. And that's because you gotta use this strategy, although I think we're falling behind quite a bit, so like maybe pick it up a little bit, I can't tell. This angle doesn't let me see her. Where are we at? Are we getting close to the end? I can't remember. I really don't feel like doing it again, so how close are we? I think we have to go through this tunnel, maybe like, Jam on it now. Jam on it! Jam on it, Pastor! You've been, you've been past, my friend. <sighs> She's gonna dance again. Whew. It's like a real struggle. <laughs> oh, look at this dimple. Look at this dimple right there. <laughs> That's two out of four for us. Well, two out of two for us. Perhaps you'd like this piece of paper as a prize. It's been wedged in my... Oh, uh, nope, nope. Don't want to know where it's been. Oh, I think I've spent quite enough time in this gloomy old mine. I'm off to swoop and soar among the clouds. Bye-bye, friends. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Perhaps, maybe, in a level in the clouds. Wonder what that could be, Cloud City. Nope, just kidding. Star Wars. Okay. Before we finish this one up, what else do we need to do? Let's go investigate. I just want to check. I don't... I can't confirm that it leads there. I just want to see if we go here and we go crushing shit again. First of all, what else did I blow up? We beat Canary Mary. We 
did a lot this episode, actually. No, 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 please, though. Um, I want to check our view totals and how are we doing in this level as far as Jiggies go. Because I think you can get... We got an 8 out of 10. We know... Oh, there's one Jinjo missing. We know for a fact... God, we've been in this level for an hour and 12 minutes. That's an hour of my life, man. Um, we know for a fact that one of the Jiggies is up there. And I just don't know how to get it. So I'll have to look that up. Maybe we can't get it yet. It, I, I, my guess is we can't get it yet because there's places in this level for like splitting up. And there's also places in this level. No, please, though. There's also places in this level for um, Kazooie to swim and, and break through under underwater. So my guess, Al, would be that that's the case. I'm going to save state real quick because if this ends up being nothing and we die. Oh, I almost loaded state. I would have cried. Um, if this ends up being nothing and we die then I'll be a little upset. This looks just like the flooded the, the flooded mines area again, which we've already gotten the Jiggy from, so I don't know what this could potentially lead to. Eggs. Eggs Benedict, that's it. Uh, okay, so this is a dead end. We can mark this off the list of things. Again, I think there's only one, unless this leads around to that water, like if there's a pathway in here that leads around to that waterfall, and then that waterfall goes empty. Um, which way we want to go here? Let's try left, just for funsies. Um, and I think, as far as funsies go, you could put this on the list of things that are not funsies. Although we might be able to get oxygen at the end of this. I hope I don't drown. I swear, video games have given me a fear of getting things smooshed. Okay, this is the entrance. Getting things smooshed, or getting me smooshed, and also drowning. All my greatest fears in life basically come from Banjo-Kazooie. And I'm also afraid of bears. Just kidding. Although they would totally... You know what's scarier than a bear? Um, a lot of things. But also hippos. Have you ever seen the video of the hippo, like, eating the watermelon? What is this? It's just HP. Have you ever seen the video of the hippo eating a watermelon? It literally crushes it like it could crush your head into him. He's like... And just, like, leaves his mouth open. And the dude drops a watermelon in the middle of it. And the thing bursts into, like, 97 pieces. Yeah, this is definitely where we already were. So I don't think there's anything else we can do here. So I am going to go ahead and end this one as I leave you with the thought of a um, hippopotamus crushing your skull open with its massive jaw strength. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure that you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And if you know anybody that you think would be a great Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we banjo too close there because we would love to have them. But with that... Thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna drown.